Well, now, how's everybody going? Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to show you the hillbilly way on how to pour concrete in the middle of winter. And why not? And use whatever you have to use to pour it. So let's go. So like I've said before, everybody knows I got water dripping in this area and I've got my custom Hibbilly rain deflector keeping the rain and water away from this corner. So since I don't have any mesh, I'm using whatever I have laying around to use to reinforce the concrete. I'm just going to cut open three bags of 60 pounders. I'm just going to dump that shit on the ground half acidly spread it out and uh, I got water here warm water and if I need more water I'll throw some snow on it I don't give a shit <laughs> how long will it work for I have no freaking clue so here is Andy's hillbilly way of doing concrete work feel free to laugh along first you need concrete and then you got to open that concrete with my hoe. I'm renting this hoe because she's pretty damn expensive. So it's even got the two nipple pokers out the end of it. So basically I'm going to do a dry pour. <laughs> what else is there to do on Thanksgiving? Talk to your family you don't like? You know? I don't give a shit. One day is another day to me. I don't care. This may not be enough. So, I got the 60 pound bags which are easier for me to handle. Thanks to uh, Mr. Sciatica, horse shit. And if I'm mooning you with my pants, sorry. It's only a little crack. Now we gotta add our water. Nice warm water, actually. That should be enough for the moment. Now I gotta get my dirty ass hoe out here. Come on, you dirty hoe. Got the cable mixed in there, just breaking my balls now. I wanna get it up near the garage as a key. That cable might have been a mistake. Yeah, that cable may have been a little bit of a mistake. So, that's all right. All right, maybe, maybe we won't use this cable. Maybe we won't use this one because I've already got mesh. Yeah, that's better. Good, isn't it? Okay. One less cable. This is how to be a professional concrete pour. In case you guys didn't know. But. I mean, I gotta do something. I can't let that water get in my garage. And this is the only thing I could think of right now to take care of the issue. A little more water. Let it run down my garage and help wash it off. I 
I'm using the I'm using the edge of the right here. I'm using that edge as a guide. Saying, boy, this guy's an idiot. Well, this is the easiest way I could think of coming up with. It's still a little bit dry. Usually, five gallons goes for almost 80 pounds, and I'm using five gallons for 180 pounds. So it'll slowly evaporate in plus when I put the water on it tells me the high and low spots kind of cool holy shit it's all setting up already a little bit of spot there to run through there. trail coming in we want a water trail going out there I'm gonna get my water trail going out of here right here in this corner like that there we go. Need a little bit of water here. A little bit of a high spot. A piece of threaded rod sticking up here. Get down in there. I think they actually had a better view of it on this side. I can always come back over the top of this with more concrete, which I'm going to have to do over there. Get my water trail made here. A draining ditch. There we go. Drain right out through there. Little bastard. Oh, reaching out like that's killing my back. Now the wires got covered up a little bit. I got a root right here. It's creating an issue. It's creating a dam on me. I'm gonna leave this cable hanging out. So there's my my dam that's being created. If I had one more bag, I would have been all set, I think. Oh well.
by Bill Country on Thanksgiving. That's too awful bad. I am just using a stupid shovel. Not too bad. I gotta, I gotta cut that one roof. a notch of this roof for drainage. Oh my god, what is this shit? Beer for a month. Battery's fully charged. Batteries fully charged and it puked that fast. What's that tell you? I told you these lithium batteries suck in the winter. All right, plan B. The faster plan. this way. Didn't think about using my finger as a road maker as a drainage ditch. There. Alrighty then. So there you have it. Hillbilly concrete pouring in the middle of winter. You know. And I'm going to leave that stuff there loose on the end, the cables and stuff, because I want to put a little bit more, another bag or so right in here. My main part was to get this semi-sealed up, because the water is going right up underneath it. All right, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I got to wash that shit outside of the garage now. Have a good one.